My name is Kat Kutai and I work in information technology with sharing knowledge using techniques such as Aboriginal narratives. This technique links activities and indicators on the land to the position of the stars. Hence the stories work also with sea travel and sea knowledge. Aboriginal people identify strongly with waterways and seas as these environments are strongly interdependent with land management. Also, many community stories have a tie back to a past when the sea levels were lower and people walked on what is now the underwater continental shelf. My relation is mostly with river systems. These are the trade routes and travel paths along the coast on New South Wales and are part of women's knowledge. Women often were and are the ones who move in marriage and we can carry the knowledge of similar lands where we grow up into the new areas up and down the coast. Hence the rivers tie women's knowledge together. The river waterways are the basic food supply in areas where these exist. They are a source of all life as rains are irregular. Yet this is not being respected across Australia and our waterways are being used for water intensive agriculture, fracking and the removal of harmful chemicals from mining and airport sites. The lack of appreciation of this interconnectedness is foolish in this day and age and in the land where the underground aquifers also tie us together. My story was given to me by Andrew Turk. Andrew's story was with respect to an education program for Matu people about a proposed uranium mine in WA. It was about surface water running between sand ridges during high rain events such as cyclones, which the company had failed to recognise in its initial mine design and information to the Matu. Of course, this also affects subsurface water. The company agreed to recognise this and made very significant changes to their mine design regarding possible tailing dam overflow once a Madhu woman elder, born in that area, explained the real rainwater runoff situation to Andrew. I used detailed Australian government topography maps, which he had been vo involved in collecting many years before, to convince the company of the problem and the need to redesign their mine proposal. It was withdrawn. Andrew also noted there was an underground aquifer that flowed from a proposed dam site to an area of significance to the Matu, of which the people were aware.